heard yesterday from just so many people who are near us just how devastating this fire really is for the whole community, saying that some things you really just can't replace some of the memories that were made inside some of these buildings that are now just a shell of what they were just uh, about 24 hours ago. This has really just been devastating to the community and you know they're going to be here tonight at Davidson Street Baptist Church. We're at 400 Davidson Street here in Clinton at six o'clock. This prayer vigil is going to start bringing this close knit community together uh, praying for these recovery efforts for these businesses and also for those five firefighters that you mentioned Tori. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this video. We have some aerial video taken this morning showing the recovery efforts underway as crews are working to get downtown uh, back to normal, certainly at least cleaned up. It is still closed today. We were actually just driving through there about half of an hour ago and we saw that uh, it was still closed in several areas. You're still not able to get close to the house of pizza at this point, but we also did get some details on those injuries from the firefighters, though de those details from the city of Clinton Fire Chief Jeremy Marshall. He was confirming this information to us. He says one of the firefighters broke a wrist. We're told that firefighter tripped and fell at the scene, but this was not while fighting the fire itself. We're told that two firefighters from the Joanna Fire Department went to the emergency room for dehydration, and we're also told two Lawrence County firefighters they were hit by breaking when that wall just collapsed last night, it all happened so fast. Now the mayor did say that all of their injuries were minor and that no one sustained any serious injuries at the scene. So that is the good news. But there is just a, such a long road ahead for the entire community here in Clinton. And we'll continue being here with you all night as this prayer vigil gets underway. As people start showing up here to the church, we'll of course continue checking in with you throughout the night. 